Welcome, I am Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have a team up of Tony Stark, Iron Man, and Bruce Banner Hulk taking on Norman Osborn in expert difficulty. Um, you're probably wondering a team up with Iron Man against Norman Osborn instead of Spider Man and Hulk? Uh, essentially, because the theme of this, of course, is the hostile takeover of Stark Industries. Also, we've got the Science Bros here, and we also have Mr. I'm something of a scientist myself up there. So it's kind of a big science theme thing going on. Uh, anyway, let's go through the setup. We need to put the criminal enterprise environment into play, which is over here. And so this comes in with two infamy counters per player on it. So it'll be four counters. Uh, if there are no infamy counters here, we flip Norman Osborne and criminal enterprise. Um, then we advance to stage 1B. So hostile takeover, Norman Osborn holds a board meeting planning to take over a branch of Stark Industries. We place, uh, when if this completes, we're going to place uh, one per player infamy counters on Criminal Enterprise. And then we discard one card from each player's deck for each infamy counter on the Criminal Enterprise, if that completes. So we've got a threshold of seven per player, so 14. It starts with two threat per player and goes up by one at the start of each villain phase. So we have four threat. Norman Osborn. Uh, we have a forced interrupt on his attack, so when he would attack, we place two infamy counters on Criminal Enterprise instead. And um, if you would take any amount of damage, we remove that many infamy counters from Criminal Enterprise instead. So we're playing uh, Iron Man in Protection and Hulk in Justice. Again, decks will be in the description. So let's draw up our hand size. So we have uh, Tony Stark on 9 health. He has a hand size of 6. So got Rocket Boots, Energy, Dauntless. Stark Tower, Repurpose, and a Power Protection. I'm going to mulligan Dauntless and Repurpose. And we'll draw two more cards. We have Luke Cage and a Repulsor Blast. Not really much of what I'm looking for. Oh, this should be in there. Uh, for Bruce, we draw five cards. We have Homeland Intervention, Unstoppable Force, Power and All of Us, Hulk Smash, and a Queen Carrier. We'll hold on to the Queen Carrier, Power and All of Us. We're going to throw away the Hulk Smash. Don't need that right now. Or the Homeland Intervention or Unstoppable Force. So we draw three more cards. We have Monica Chang. Limitless Strength, and a Helicarrier. All right. So over here of Tony, we have a Futurist ability, which is action. Look at the top three cards of your deck, add one to your hand, and discard the others, limit once per round. So we'll activate and do that. So we have an Arc Reactor, Plasma Pistol, and Powered Gauntlets. We'll hold on to the Arc Reactor. We'll then use our Energy two resources to put in the arc reactor which says uh here are action exhaust arc reactor we can ready iron man we'll spend two resources to put in stark tower which has an alter ego action where you exhaust Stark Tower, choose a player, that player returns the topmost tech upgrade in the discard pile to the hand. We'll do that and choose ourselves while we're in alter ego. The topmost tech is our powered gauntlets. We will then spend two resources to put the powered gauntlets into play. And so the gauntlets say we can exhaust the powered gauntlets and deal one damage to the enemy, two damage instead if we have the aerial trait. We're then going to flip up to Iron Man. We're going to thwart two off hostile takeover. We're going to ready. And we're going to thwart another two. 
And then we'll exhaust our gauntlets to deal one damage to move Criminal Enterprise down to three. We'll go over to Bruce. We're going to flip up to Hulk. We're going to use a limitless strength to spend three resources to put in a heli carrier. Actually, no. Yes. Um, and then we'll spend another three resources. So we've got a power and all of us for two resources for a basic card, Monica Chang. To put in the Quinn Carrier. To play if you're play if your Danny has the Avenger trait, exhaust Quinn Carrier, generate a wild resource. And Heli Carrier, we exhaust it and choose a player and choose the cost of the next card they play this phase by one. Um Just debating if we attack and push Osborne already into the next, into Green Goblin. You know, why not? Hulk's going to attack for three. So it removes the last three infantry counters. So this, uh, we flip Norman Osborne and Criminal Enterprise. So when we flip Norman, uh, Green Goblin when revealed, we deal four indirect damage to each player. And the fours are when he would scheme, we remove one madness counter from State of Madness. Instead of Madness, we'll come in with two per player Madness counters, so four on that. And we'll each take our four in direct damage. I mean, it's down to five. Hulk goes down to 14. And we're ready up. Uh, Iron Man has a hand size of one. However, he gets plus one hand size for each tech upgrade you control to a maximum hand size of seven. So we have two tech I uh, two tech upgrades in control. So we draw three cards. We have electrostatic armor, Marta, and a supersonic punch. Okay. Uh, over here, Hulk will draw four cards. We have immovable object, suborbital leap, ingenuity, and surveillance team. All right, so two threat goes on the main scheme. Uh, Green Goblin is going to attack for a base four. We are going to have Hulk defend this for Iron Man. He's coming with four plus. Uh, place one infamy counter on Criminal Enterprise. If you cannot remove one state of madness counter, so we remove one state of madness. He's getting a plus one to that attack. So he's hitting us for five, and Hulk defends three. So we take. Two more damage. Then he's going to attack Hulk for four, plus place one infamy counter on criminal enterprise if you cannot remove one madness counter from state of madness. He hits Hulk for four. Get our encounter cards. Place two infamy counters on criminal enterprise if you cannot remove two madness counters from state of madness. So this flips back. Because we've lost all state of madness, so we flip Green Goblin for the criminal enterprise. Norman's back, and we put our four inf infamy counters on here. And then, when revealed, Norman Osborne discard the top card of your deck for each infamy counter on criminal enterprise. So that's going to be four cards. So go Sky Destroyer. Homeland Intervention, Avengers Mansion, and Agent Coulson. And then Hulk becomes first player. Okay. We're just going to spend three resources to put in a movable object. So it gives Hulk four hit points, pushing us back up to 12, and he gains Retaliate. Uh, over here, we're going to, what are we going to do? We have Iron Man Thwart 2. Uh, 
We'll attack for one. So arc reactor to ready. We'll flip down to alter ego. We'll recover three. Take us back up to eight. We'll trigger our Stark Tower ability to bring Rocket Boots into our hand. We'll then use a Supersonic Punch to play Rocket Boots. So Rocket Boots, we get plus one hit point, so back up to nine. And we can exhaust Rocket Boots and spend a mental resource. We gain the aerial trait until the end of the phase. We'll then also use Mata to put in Electrostatic Armor. So it says, play under any player's control, max one per player. After you defend against an attack, deal one damage to the attacking character. And we're ready. Oh, should we? No, there's no point. All right, Hulk gets four cards. We have a Strength, Surveillance Team, Moon Girl, and Limitless Strength. And Tony will get six cards. We have a Plasma Pistol, Endurance, Force Field Generator, Power in All of Us, sorry, Power Protection, Pepper Pots, and another Force Field Generator. Okay. Feeling Phase, two threat goes on the main scheme. Uh, Norman Osborn would go to attack, um, but obviously when Norman Osborn would attack, sorry, when Norman Osborn would attack, place two infamy counters on Criminal Enterprise instead. Another two there. Over here, he'll scheme for two plus three, so five all up. Then we get our encounter cards. Right, Intimidation when revealed. Choose to either spend two resources of any type or give the villain one face down boost card. We'll give him a face down boost card. Uh, revealed the villain heals X damage, or X is double to equal to double the villain's stage number. If no damage was healed this way, this card gains surge. Well, he would heal four if he had any damage, but he has no damage, so it's going to surge. Going to get caught off guard. Discard an upgrade or support you control. We'll get rid of electrostatic armor. Okay. Tony's first player. We will. Use our Futurist ability to draw three cards, keep one, discard the other two. A Repulsor Blast, two against the world, and repurpose. We'll just keep the Repulsor Blast. Uh, it's on top of our, oh, top of our deck for tech. Yeah, we'll... Use a Stark Tower to bring our top tech card back into our hand, which will be Electrostatic Armor. All right, we're going to use a Force Field Generator plus the Power Protection for three resources to put in a Force Field Generator. So this uses six energy counters and has a forced interrupt. When you would take any amount of damage, remove that many energy counters from here for each energy counter remove. This way, prevent one of that damage. Uh, and then going to spend three resources to put in pepper pots. So she's a support, we can exhaust Pepper Pots to generate the resources of the top card in your discard pile. We'll do that to generate resource to put an endurance. Giving us another three hit points. We are then going to flip up into Iron Man. We're going to thwart for two. Use our arc reactor to ready. And thwart for another two. Taking the main scheme down to three. We'll use our 
Powered gauntlets to do one damage on a criminal enterprise. Then it's Hulk's turn. Okay. We will I'm looking at that Heli Carry and Quinn Carry, and I'm like, I don't really need to use those. We're gonna use a strength. Oh, then again. Yeah, okay. We're gonna use a limitless strength to put in a surveillance team, overpaying for it. That comes in with three snoop counters. Uh, we exhaust the advanced team, remove one snoop counter from it, and remove one threat from a scheme. We will do that. Taking hostile takeover down to two. We will attack for three. Take criminal enterprise down to one. Then going to flip down. And because we're a genius, we'll use Heli Carrier to make Moon Girl 1 cheaper and spend three resources to bring her into play. Um, because you can play if your day has the genius trait. After you play Moon Girl from your hand, draw one card for each mental resource used to pay for her. We didn't use any, we're just playing her for the sake of having her in. And then she's going to thwart two off here and take two consequential damage. We're ready up. Okay, Iron Man, we have a hand size of one, two, three, four. Hand size of four. It's almost as good as Hulk now. The genius, a supersonic punch, energy barrier, another energy barrier. And Bruce gets five cards. We have genius, under surveillance, banner's laboratory, surveillance team, and a field agent. Okay, two threat goes on the main scheme. Uh, over here, Norman would attack, but instead we get two counters on Criminal Enterprise. Bring it up to three. And he'll scheme over here on Bruce. Two plus three. Place one infamy counter on Criminal Enterprise. And place one, yeah, so two more counters. And he schemes for three. Get our encounter cards. Uh, the villain attacks you. So again, when he would attack, two infamy counters. And over here, Goblin Glider attached the enemy with the highest printed hit points without another Goblin Glider attached. If you cannot, this card gain surge. So you spend two uh, energy resources to discard this card. It's given an Osborne plus one attack. All right, Bruce is our first player. We're going to spend two resources. Actually, you know what? We're going to spend two resources to put Banner's Laboratory into play. So this gives us an, a plus, uh, plus an additional two recovery. And as an alter ego, we can generate, um, we can also generate a mental resource. Um, we will do that to bring in a field agent. So a field agent comes in with three backup counters. And it has a hero interrupt when a shield ally would take any amount of consequential damage, we can exhaust field, field agent and remove one backup counter from it and we prevent one of that damage. We will then use the heli carrier, 
and the surveillance team were under surveillance on hostile takeover, pushing the threshold by another four, so it has to get to 18. Uh, we will recover six because of our plus two recovery, so we've got four plus two, so take us up to 18. We will we'll flip up and so I should, did I do surveillance team? I don't think I did, but just ready. I won't worry in case I did. I don't believe I did. Okay, we will over on IMS turn. We'll use a genius to put an energy barrier. So this comes in with three reflection counters. So when you take any amount of damage, remove one reflection counter from here, we can prevent one of the damage and deal one damage to an enemy. We will use pepper pots to generate these two resources again and put in another energy barrier. The cards would actually sit right. Okay. Uh, we will then thwart for two. Use the arc reactor to ready, thwart for another two. We will do one damage to knock down criminal enterprise. We'll hold on to supersonic punch and we'll ready up. Okay, so Hulk, we get our four cards, got a thunderclap, crushing blow, Nick Fury, and power on all of us. Iron Man's now got a hand size of one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. So we're flying now. Got Nova, Repurpose, War Machine, Strength, Energy Barrier, and another Rocket Boots. All right. Two threat goes in the main scheme. Uh, Osborne would attack, but that's just going to put two on here. He'd attack over here, same again. Then we get our encounter cards. All right, Oscorp Manufacturing. When revealed, Norman Osborne, we place one additional threat per player here. So it's coming to a four plus another two. Going to put an acceleration icon into play. It's going to have six threat. Then on Iron Man, all in a day's work, couldn't reveal, place two infamy counters on criminal enterprise. We can't, but we can. There's another two there. Okay. Over to Iron Man. We're going to use a strength to put another energy barrier into play. I'm out of counters, so I'm just going to use threat on here. We will use War Machine as a wild resource, as a mental resource. Trigger boots to go aerial. We will then
use our gauntlets to attack for two. We'll spend two resources for a supersonic punch, which says uh, it's an attack. We deal four damage to an enemy, eight damage instead if you have the aerial trait. And we do currently have the aerial trait, so that's eight damage. Two, four, six, eight. We'll then exhaust pepper, giant resource to put in another rocket boots. Just going to give us another hit point. We're going to thwart two off Oscorp manufacturing. Use our arc reactor to ready and thwart another two. Over with Hulk. We're going to use the heli carrier, use the queen carrier and a power on all of us to bring in Nick Fury. So after Nick Fury enters play, choose to either remove two threat from a scheme, draw three cards, or deal four damage to enemy. We'll draw three cards. We have an unstoppable force, Mockingbird, and Boundless Rage. Okay. Nick will thwart for two. Doing one consequential damage to get rid of Oscorp manufacturing. Uh, we'll exhaust the surveillance team. Move one threat from the main scheme. We're going to spend one resource to put in Boundless Rage down here. Uh, in hero form, only Hulk gets plus one attack. And after we change form, we discard that card. We will attack before to knock this down. Just going to put State of Madness in play. Going to come in with four counters. Norman's going to flip into Green Goblin. And revealed, we deal four indirect damage to each player. So, four is just going to go into the force field generators, the force interrupt. Over here, Nick's going to take one. Hulk will take the other three. That's indirect. We can distribute it among our allies however we like. And... We'll just do yeah, I mean we'll spend two physical resources for unstoppable force to ready Hulk. And we pay for this physical resource, we draw a card, so we'll draw a card, it's an energy. Um, fantastic. We'll spend two energy to remove the goblin glider. And then we'll hit Norman or Green Goblin for four damage. Taking down to 32. We're ready up. Okay, Iron Man, we get our seven cards. Mark V Helmet, Force Field Generator, Mark V Armor, Power Gauntlets, Plasma Pistol, Ingenuity, a repulsive blast. And we've gone through our deck, so we're gonna get an extra encounter card. Over on Hulk, we'll get our four cards. We have Homeland Intervention. 
espionage, suborbital leap, and a thunderclap. All right. Two threat in the main scheme. Uh, Goblin is attacking Iron Man for four. We are just going to take it. It's going for four plus five. Place one infamy count on Crew Enterprise. You cannot remove one state of madness, so remove that. And he's attacking for five. Two gets soaked up by our force field generator. And then the other three, we're going to use one reflection counter each to negate it. And send the three back on Green Goblin. Taking him down to 29. He's going to attack Hulk. Nick Fury is going to block that. So four plus five. Give the villain one additional boost card for his activation. So five, six, seven, eight. Nick does not make it through that attack. Encounter cards. One more for Iron Man, one for Hulk. Villain schemes. So, uh, when Green Golden would scheme, we remove one madness counter from State of Madness. Next one. Now uh, the Goblin Glider's back. Now it's for Hulk. The villain each minion gets you, attacks you. Uh, we're going to have Moon Girl defend for this. So it's coming in for five plus six, seven. Place one infamy counter on Crown twice if I can't. Remove one State of Madness. No girls knocked out. All right. Hulk's now first player. Okay, we're going to use a Homeland Intervention, which is a zero cost card action. Exhaust up to three shield cards you control and choose a scheme. Remove two threat from that scheme for each card exhaust this way. So we exhaust surveillance team and our field agent. And remove the fourth right off here. We're then going to use the Quinn Carrier and Espionage Suborbital Leap for a Thunderclap, which is up to three different enemies and deal three damage to each of them. We only have Green Gold we choose on, so we're just going to deal three damage to him. And down to 26. Hulk's then going to attack for four. Taking down 22. And then it's Iron Man's turn. So. I'm gonna spend one, use a helicarrier to make it one cheaper. Then, so three resources to put in our Mark V armor, which just gives us six hit points. Taking this up to 19. We will use Pepper Pots to put in our helmet. Which we can exhaust the helmet and remove one threat from a scheme. And if we're aerial, we can remove one threat from each scheme that's in play. We will then use the powered gauntlets to pay for a repulsor blast. So we it's an attack, we deal one damage to an enemy. We discard the top five cards of our deck. If for each printed energy resource, uh with that we discard, we deal two additional damage. So five cards, so we've got one, two, three. Files don't count. Four, five. Six, seven. Seven damage on the goblin. Taking down to 15. Iron Man will attack for one. We'll use our arc reactor to ready and attack again for another one. We we'll use our power gauntlet to attack for one. Taking goblin down to 12. We'll hold on to the force field generator and ready up.
All right, Hulk gets four cards. We have one way or another, Crushing Blow, Espionage, and a Hulk Smash. Iron Man will draw another six cards, it's our hand size is seven. So we've got Martyr, Repurpose, two against the world, Plasma Pistol, Repurpose, and an Energy. All right. Two threat in the main scheme. Uh, Norman is going to attack us. He's going to attack Hulk. We'll just take it. Uh, so it's going to be five, six, seven. Taking this down to eight. We retaliate one. Then he's going to attack Iron Man, who's going to defend. Going for five plus place one infamy count on criminal enterprise. If you cannot remove one state of madness, so we remove this. This comes back to criminal enterprise with our four counters. This flips to Norman. Um, and I believe because it's now Norman, all we can do is we count the boost icons, which there are none because it was just the. Uh, play seven, but I think we'd still count the plus one. So that's how I'm going to rule it. Um, and I'm going to use a reflection counter. Right, when he would take any amount of damage to reflect it and, yeah, take one of these down. Still there. Um, then we get our counter cards. We've got a payoff, um, so that's coming with four threat per player. Sorry, two threats, so four threat all up, I should say. And it's going to give us a hazard icon, so an extra encounter card being dealt to us. Now we got regenerative healing. Villain heals X damage at X double the villain stage number. So he's stage two, so he's going to heal four damage. Up to 15. I mean, it's our first player. We'll use our arc reactor to ready. We're going to spend two energy resources to get rid of the goblin glider. We use pepper to generate two resources, plus a repurpose to put in our force field generator. Um, I'm going to spend two resources to put in a plasma pistol. So it's restricted, so we can have a max of two restricted cards. Uh, it comes with three charge counters. We can exhaust the plasma pistol, remove one charge counter from it, and deal one damage to an enemy. Which we're going to do. Take our enterprise down to two. We will thwart two with Iron Man. We will exhaust our power gauntlet, deal another damage from Enterprise, exhaust our helmet. To remove one threat from a scheme, we'll take it off the payoff. Um, I'm not going to hold on to repurpose just now. That's going to be it for Iron Man's turn. Over with Hulk. We are going to... Spend a physical damage to deal damage to an enemy equal to our attack. Attack is four. It's going to knock this off. It's going to flip. Norman's going to become goblin again and do four indirect damage. So, 
we can hook down to four. Taking two off the force field generator. We are then going to use the last counter on our surveillance team. To get rid of payoff. I'm going to flip down to Bruce Banner and recover six hit points. Things up to 10. We lose Boundless Rage. Uh, I'm going to throw away one way or another, but hold on to our Hulk Smash. I'm all ready up. All right, Iron Man gets seven cards. We have Luke Cage, Power of Protection, Genius, Strength, War Machine. Repurpose and Nova. All right. Nope. Oh, and Hulk. Well, Bruce gets another four cards. We have Chance Encounter, Ironheart, Global Logistics. We've decked out so we get an extra encounter card. One more card. Nick Fury. All right, two threat goes on the main scheme. Um, Goblin will attack over here on Iron Man. We'll just take it. He's coming with, oh, I forgot my state of madness counters. Going for four plus two, so six. Two gets absorbed by a force field generator. We're going to reflect one back with this energy barrier, reflect another one, another one. So he's going to take three. Iron Man takes one after all that. So it was two, three, four, five. Yep. And then Green Goblin would scheme, and when he would scheme, we remove one madness counter from State of Madness. Get our encounter cards. Pumpkin Bombs, attached to the villain. After the villain attacks, discard Pumpkin Bombs and take two indirect damage. And over on Bruce's side, we have more Pumpkin Bombs. And then this card gains Surge because we're an alter ego. And we have Private, private Security Specialist. He comes in with Guard, so we cannot uh, attack the villain while he's engaged with us. The scheme of one, tackle one, health of four. All right. Okay, we are going to we're going to flip up to Hulk. We're going to generate a physical resource. We're going to make a card one cheaper. And here's our other physical resource. So we're paying two physical resources for Hulk Smash. So we're attacking for 13. With Because we only use physical resources, it also has uh, overkill. So four goes on to the private security specialist. Nine spills over onto Green Goblin. him down to three. Uh, we're going to spend two resources to bring in Ironheart. After you play Ironheart from your hand, draw one card, we will. Pull in the strength, but we're just going to throw that away at the end of our turn. Uh, Ironheart is going to thwart one of the main scheme. Okay. We're going to spend 
two uh, strength to get rid of the pumpkin bombs. We're going to use pepper to generate two physical resources again to get rid of the other pumpkin bombs. We are then going to use War Machine as a mental resource to go aerial. We're going to spend the Genius Power Protection for four resources to bring in Nova. So Nova has a Thought of 1, Tech 2, and Health of 3. And an interrupt when enemy initiates tech against you, spend an energy resource, deal 2 damage to that enemy. Um, now that we're aerial, we're going to use our gauntlet to do 2 damage. Taking Green Goblin down to 1 health. We'll then attack for 1 with Iron Man. That'll knock us into stage 3. So when revealed, we deal four damage to each player. A man's going to use two of his energy barriers to reflect two back. Goblin would come in with 44 health. Because of the two, he's going to be down to 42 already. Iron Man takes the two. Hulk takes four damage. Taking him down to six. Use our arc reactor to ready. We will attack for one. Use our plasma pistol to attack for another one. Use our helmet to take one thread off the scheme. And that will be it for now. We will we'll throw away Luke Cage. She will throw every purpose too. It's going to come back to our hand probably anyway. All right, we're ready up and drop our hand. Hulk gets his four cards. Got strength, moon girl, genius, a suborbital leap. Iron Man gets seven cards, so we've got one, two, three, four. Decking out so we get an extra counter card. So we're at four, five, six, seven. So we've got electric like armor, repulsor blast, dauntless, supersonic punch, generator, energy barrier, and loot cage. Okay. Two threat goes on the main scheme. Green Goblin's going to attack. Ironheart's going to jump in the way of this. So four plus. Five, six, and remove one state of madness counter. Ironheart's knocked out, and we lose a counter. Um, over here, Goblin's about to initiate attack against us, so we're going to use Dauntless as an energy resource for Nova's ability to do two damage to Goblin, taking him down to 38. Now going to attack, we'll just take it. So four plus one is five, taking us down to 11. Okay, counter cards, one for Hulk. Last one of the counter deck there, which means we have a permanent acceleration token in play. So threat will go up three at each, each round. Okay, starting with Hulk. Villain schemes. 
So when you would scheme, um, he in fact removes two madness counters from state of madness. So we flip that back. Norman stage three is here. We have our four counters on criminal enterprise. We have a payoff. I come in four threat. Hazard icon on the play. And we have a hide gun. When revealed, choose either give the villain one face down boost card or place two infamy counters on criminal enterprise. Or we'll just place two infamy counters on criminal enterprise. All right. Iron Man's our first player. We're going to use Pepper to generate resource. Dauntless. Use Loot Cage and Electrostatic Armor to put in our Force Field Generator. We'll spend two resources to put in our energy barrier. We will thwart for two off the payoff. So arc reactor to ready. Thwart for another two to get rid of the payoff. Uh, we use our helmet to remove one threat. Use our gauntlet to do one damage. Use our plasma pistol to do another damage. Yep. Okay, Bruce, 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 Bruce. All right, we're going to use Helicarrier Strength, pay three resources to remove three threat from a scheme. Sorted there. We're going to flip down. We're going to recover six, taking this up to 12. We will source the Queen Carrier and use Genius to pay for Moon Girl with three metal resources, which means we can draw three cards. We've got a Thunderclap, Espionage, and a Crushing Blow. Uh, we will attack for two with Moon Girl. She takes two consequential damage. I'm going to throw away Espionage, but I'll hold on to Thunderclap and Crushing Blow. We're ready up. Yeah, Iron Man still has seven cards. We've got plenty of tech on the board. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bana gets another three cards. A surveillance team. Boundless Rage in one way or another. Uh, three threat goes on the main scheme. This is not in play. Uh, when Norman Osborn would go to attack, we place three counters on Criminal Enterprise instead. And then this guy is going to attack us for two, but our force for generator will soak that up. You should all be ready. 
Now, if you Norman schemes for three plus two, so five. Taking us to eight out of what, 18. Get our encounter cards. Goblin Glider's back. And a hide gun. Choose either give them a face down boost card or place two of the counters on Criminal Enterprise. We'll place the counters. All right. Hulk becomes first player. We're going to recover another six. Takes up to 18. Going to flip up. Going to use our Queen Carrier to put in Boundless Rage. Giving us plus one attack. We actually know we're going to use our Heli Carrier to put Boundless Rage in. We're then going to use the Quinn Carrier to pay for a physical resource. So we can deal damage to any enemy able to attack. Our attack is four. So I'm going to do it to the Criminal Enterprise, to Norman. Take that down to three. And we'll spend two resources to put in a surveillance team. Which we are going to exhaust because of three counters, it would take one counter off it. Let's bring that down to seven. And then Iron Man's turn. We will thwart two. So I've reacted already, thwart another two. Taking that down to three. We're going to Spend two resources for a supersonic punch to deal four damage to an enemy, which would be on the hired gun to knock him out. Uh, we can use pepper pots and three more resources to bring in Marta. So after Marta. Takes control damage from a performing attack. If the attack defeat an enemy, give her a tough status card. So we're actually going to attack for two. Actually, no. First of all, we will shoot one damage onto the hide gun. Then we'll attack for two with Marta, which will knock out the hide gun. She takes a consequential damage. She gets tough. Uh, we'll use our helmet. Take that down to two. Nova will attack for two. Taking one consequential damage. And we shall ready. Okay, four cards for Hulk. Hulk Smash. Homeland Intervention. Unstoppable Force. And a Limitless Strength. Seven cards for Iron Man. Repulsor Blast. Plasma Pistol. Power of Protection. Energy Barrier. Energy. 
Strength and War Machine. Okay. Three threat goes on the main scheme. Uh, Norman would attack, but instead we get three on criminal enterprise. Same over here. We get our encounter cards. Uh, give, all right, business problems. Get a Tony Stark player. We can exhaust each upgrade you control and discard obligation, or you, you can flip the alter ego, exhaust Tony Stark, and remove business problems again. That's what we're going to do. And now, hide guns back. We'll just put two infamy counters instead of giving Norman a boost card. Alright, Iron Man's turn. We're actually going to use our Future Stability. How many cards do we have? Yep. Usually we draw three cards, keep one, discard the other two. Oh. Yeah, we're going to we're going to keep the energy barrier. All right. We're going to use Pepper Pots to create two resources from our genius to put another energy barrier in the play. We'll use, we'll spend the, oh, we'll go into hero. Oh, actually, before we do that, we'll exhaust Dark Tower and put the topmost tech card back into our hand. Force field generator. Then we'll flip up into hero. Then we'll spend the two energy, get rid of the Goblin Glider. We'll spend Power Protection, put another energy barrier. We will spend two resources, put in a plasma pistol. We should be ready. Comes in with our counters. I'm just going to use damage tokens because once again I'm running low on counters. And then we're going to use War Machine as a mental resource to go aerial. Going to ready with our arc reactor. Attack for one, attack for two to get rid of the hide gun. we we'll use our helmet, take one off the main scheme, taking that down to four. We'll use our pistol, take one off Criminal Enterprise. We're then going to repulse a blast for one damage, as the discard the energy card, so one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine damage would deck out. That's an encounter card. But it's 
going to flip Criminal Enterprise into State of Madness. Going to flip Osborne. We're going to deal four damage to each player, so that's going to knock out our force field. That's going to, that's going to take all four damage at least. Not to mess up the table here. Uh, over on Hulk, he just takes the four. Okay, and that is Iron Man done. Hulk is going to use a limitless strength to Hulk smash for 14 damage. Taking Green Goblin down to 24. We're then going to use the Quinn Carrier and the Homeland into actually use the Quinn Carrier and the Heli Carrier to Unstoppable Force to Ready Hulk. And he'll swing for another four. Taking Goblin down to 20. We'll then use our Homeland Intervention to exhaust up to three shield cards you control and choose a scheme. Uh, move two threat for the scheme for each card exhaust this way. We'll do our Advanced team down here and our field agent. And get rid of this fourth threat. And we're ready up. Okay, Iron Man gets his seven cards. To repurpose, Luke Cage, Electrostatic Armor, Supersonic Punch, Repulsive Blast. Dauntless and a force field generator. Hawk gets his four. Sky Destroyer. Suborbital Leap. Power and all of us. And Monica Chang. Alright. Three threat goes on the main scheme. Goblin is attacking Iron Man for base four. Marta is going to defend with her tough. So we've got four plus five. Tough absorbs that. Then Golden is now attacking Hulk. We're going to have Moon Girl defend it. So four plus villain heals two damage. It's fine. And Moon Girl's knocked out. Get our encounter cards. Another one for Iron Man and one for Hulk. All day's work. Place two infamy counters on Criminal Enterprise. If you cannot, remove two madness counters from State of Madness. Really don't want many of those. Uh, and reveal Green Goblin. Green Goblin attacks the hero with the fewest hit points remaining. If no attack was made this way, this card gains surge. So he's going to attack Iron Man. In fact, initiate an attack. So. We we'll use our electrostatic armor to deal two damage back to him. No visibility. We will we'll defend this. It's coming with four, five, six, seven. So we defend one, but we'll use one, two, three reflection counters to put three back onto him. Taking down to 17. So defend one, so minus four, how much was it? So, my god, I can't math right now. So four minus seven, it's gonna be three, right? Taking this down to eight. And then over here on Hulk, Oscorp Manufacturing. If when revealed Norman Osborne, we place additional threat, I'm threat play, but we don't have Norman Osborne in play. So that's just gonna come with a straight four. And it's going to put an acceleration icon into play. Okay, over to Hulk. I mean, hmm.
we're just going to spend three resources, so using the power on all of us and suborbital leap to put Sky Destroy into play. So after you play a shield card, exhaust Sky Destroyer, Sky Destroyer and deal two damage to enemy. This is a shield card we just played, so we can actually exhaust Sky Destroyer and deal two damage to Goblin. Hulk's then just going to swing for four. Then Goblin down to 11. I'm going to throw away Monica Chang and see what Iron Man can do. Iron Man's going to use Arc Reactor to ready. We're going to use Luke Cage to pay for Repulsor Blast. So we deal one damage to the enemy and discard top five cards of the deck. And again, any energy resource gives plus two to the attack, two additional damage. So we're up to one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. So nine damage. Taking Green Goblin down to two. Now it's just a case of how do we want to finish him off, really? Um, we'll hit him once with a power gauntlet. And then Iron Man will swing for one more. Defeating Green Goblin in Expert. Um, we also could have repurposed some of our stuff to swing for more. We had a supersonic punch still in there. We could have hit him for four damage. Um, so yeah, uh, the science bros, Bruce Banner and Tony Stark, Hulk and Iron Man, did it against the mad scientist Norman Osborn, Green Goblin. Uh, it was quite a long one, but it was quite an enjoyable one. I love the build-out protection Iron Man. It's one of my favorite ways to play him for sure. Um, of course, you know how much I love Hulk. Always love Hulk in the team. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.